down every road you go And there's sunshine and happiness around you when you're far from home And may you grow to be proud, dignified and true says you'd have done to you be courageous and be brave and in my heart you'll always stay forever young forever young Thank you, Mama and Bawa. I appreciate everything you've done and sacrificed to get me this far. Thank you to my friends, my siblings, the dorm parents, and my teachers. Love you all. Thank you, Mama and Bawa, for everything. And thank you to my uh, annoying and lovely sisters. I wanted to thank you, my sister, my father, and my mother for always being such a great example to me and for always showing me love. Grazie and thank you so much. I love you. I just wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude towards my family and friends. Thank you for always being there and supporting me, and I couldn't have made it through my academic year without all of it. Shukran Arakul Sheikh. I'd like to thank my family for being my support system. Mama, you always believed in me even when I didn't believe in myself. Baba, you made all my dreams come true and inspired me to be the best version of myself. And Lean, you were my best friend through thick and thin. I couldn't ask for a better sister. I love you all. Thank you to my mama and baba and my sister for always guiding me and supporting me through high school. Hi mommy, hi daddy. I just want to thank you guys for always supporting me in everything that I do. And I want to thank Mimi, Bobby, Nana, Grandpa, Aunt Labby, and Mason for coming out all this way. 
just for my graduation. And thank you to Kiana for staying friends with me um, through the hard times. So thank you guys. I want to thank my mom, my dad, my sister, and all my friends. Thank you guys. Thank you, mom and dad, for dedicating your lives to raising me and encouraging me to get out of my comfort zone. To my siblings, you have brought solely joy and happiness to my life. I look forward to carrying on the family legacy in the coming years. I want to say thank you to my mom and dad. You guys have supported me and devoted so much time to my high school career, and I really appreciate it. I especially want to thank my sister and my mom. You guys have stuck by me through the thick and thin of high school, and I seriously couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you, Mama and Baba, for being able to raise me the right way and care for me even through all the stress I've put you through. I'll try my best not to put you through more, and I can't promise that, but you guys are such strong people, and I couldn't have wished for any better uh, role models. Thank you. Thank you to my mom and dad for the unconditional love and support and sacrifices that you've made for my education. Uh, thank you to my siblings, Linda and Rudy, for always supporting me and showing me how to live my life. Uh, and thank you to my teachers and friends for uh, making me into the uh, independent uh, man that I am today. And Slavo Kaini. Um, I just want to say thank you to my family, especially my parents, for always supporting me and sacrificing everything to me. And to my friends, my closest friends, even though we're not in the same country, you guys always supported me and were always there for me. And without you and my family, I would not be here today, so thank you. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for always being there for me when I need you. And thank you, Taylor, Maddie, and Cameron, for continuing to support me from across the world. I love you all. To my parents, thank you for all of your love and support. I wouldn't be here without you. To my siblings, thank you for making the last few years enjoyable. To everyone, thank you for the memories. Thank you to all my friends and my insane family for helping me through this year and helping me through my ups and downs. I couldn't have done it without you guys. You mean the world to me. I love you all so much. I'd like to thank my parents for always being there for me through the ups and downs. I'd like to thank my sister for teaching me how to be patient and how to laugh at everything. I'd like to thank my friends for always being there for me and just making me laugh every day with all these memories. And finally, I'd like to thank my haters for pushing me to grow and keeping me on my toes at all times. Hola ma, hola pa, les quiero agradecer por todo el amor y cariño que me han dado durante los años y el amor que me siguen dando. No sería la persona que soy hoy si no fuera por su apoyo y toda su ayuda. Ustedes realmente son mi modelo a seguir. And thank you, Baba, for being the best little brother. Los amo. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for working so hard every day and sacrificing so much to support me and my sibling. Your guidance and support has meant a lot to me throughout the years, and I couldn't be more grateful to have such great role models in my life. Jazakumullah khair, love you guys. Thank you, Baba Ali and Mama Hayat, for the amazing years you guys have given me. Thank you for supporting me and always be being there for me. Thank you, Mr. Gail, Ms. Khulud, for being there for me. And thank you to my dormies and my fellow dorm parents for everything. Love you guys. Hi, Mom and Dad. Um, yeah, after so long in this school, I have made it here. Um, I'd like to thank you too, because without you two, I think I'd be miserable. But instead, I'm happy here. Um, and obviously my friends, I gotta thank them because I've been in this school for so long that there's so many people that I remember and I cherish now. But in short, I'd like to just thank them and I'd like to thank my parents as well for being along my side while I graduate to uh, an adult. Thank you. I want to thank my parents for always supporting me throughout this journey and always giving me that tough love that I need. I want to also thank my siblings for always the laughter of school and how much we don't like it. Yeah, and I also want to thank my friends for always giving me advice and telling me that I should be confident and that I have so much to prove. I would like to thank my mom and my dad for their unconditional support, their love, and their encouragement. Without them, I wouldn't be the strong young woman I am today. They fill me with inspiration in order to excel in my aspiration. Special thanks to my dormy family, especially Elaine Spencer. Special thanks to my siblings and my friends and all those other people, whether good or bad, who have helped build my character and made me who I am today. Thank you. Hello, Nama. Hello, Tata. Hello, Ate. I just want to say thank you very much for giving me all the support that I needed to get through uh, this challenging journey. And to all my family members and all friends, thank you for making 
Thank you for giving me the support also. Love you all. Hey mom, hey dad. I just want to thank you guys for putting up with me for the last 13 years and I just want to say thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm going to work hard to the next uh, segment of my life and I'm going to make you and the rest of the family proud. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to my family, uh, specifically my sisters, for motivating me and pushing me to be a better person every day. Um, I love you guys. And I just want to say thank you to Landon, my best friend, for always being there for me. Thank you. I would like to thank my parents, my teachers, and my friends for always supporting me and helping me out through my high school years and making them all very memorable for me. To my parents, thank you for the unwavering love and support that you all have given me throughout these years. Um, especially to my mom, thank you for making me become a logical person that's going to help me um, able to live with um, the difficulties in life and the possibilities that I'm going to have. Um, thank you to my sisters. Um, thank you and I love y'all and I love my, love my parents. Thank you to all my friends. Y'all know yourself. Thank you for making my best high school life as possible. Thank you. I just wanted to thank my family and my friends and also this community for facilitating my growth throughout the years and seeing me mature. Thank you to my family and friends for supporting me throughout my ups and downs and motivating me no matter what. I love and appreciate you guys. You helped me become who I am today. Thank you Bahrain School for giving me a great high school experience and I'm looking forward to new experiences. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for helping me through my academic career and sacrificing everything that you had to do. Thank you to my brother for making my life very exciting. Thank you to my, my friends for making high school memorable. Thanks for making uh, my high school career so much fun, guys. Thank you to my siblings, uh, Alpha, EJ, Emilian, and Ira. You guys made my high school career and my childhood so much fun. Uh, thank you to my mom and dad for being my biggest supporters throughout all these years. Um, yeah, thanks. Thank you to all my friends of Bahrain, Germany, and Spain for keeping me company and always giving me great memories and activities to do. Thank you to all my family members in the United States. And I want to give a special thanks to my parents, my brothers Taylor and Owen, and to my cousins Coral and Daisy for always being there and supporting me through all my uh, struggles and achievements. Thank you again and yeah. To my mom and dad, thank you for all the opportunities you have given me. No amount of words can truly dedicate to how much I'm thankful for you guys. Thank you for always pushing me to do my best. To my brothers, thank you for setting a good example for me, even though you guys tested my patience all the time. To the rest of my family, thank you for all the support you have given me throughout the years, and to my friends as well, thank you for making my high school years them. Que es para mi familia, quiero agradecerles por la vida que me dieron estos 18 años y por apoyarme todo este tiempo. Le quiero agradecer a mi hermano por siempre estar a mi lado. Um, los amo, los amo mucho. Um, gracias por todo. Gracias por todo y que Dios los bendiga. Sukran, Mama, Baba, and Monica for all the love and support that you've given me. I wouldn't be here today without you guys. Thank you to all my dormies for making this year very entertaining and all the previous years fun. Um, and thank you to my IB cohort for always supporting me in my studies. Thank you. I would like to thank my best friend Dora and my parents for their unconditional love and support. Hello, I would like to thank my mom, my dad, and my brother Jukori for providing unconditional support to me and always loving me. It really means a lot to me. I would also like to thank my teammates and my friends and other peers because you guys have helped me throughout high school. I love you all. Hey mom, hey dad. Thank you for everything that you've done for me over the years. Thank you for always supporting me to fulfill my passions in the future. I appreciate all the sacrifices you've made throughout my years in high school, middle school, and elementary. Thank you, Zach and Nemo, for always being there for me and always making me laugh. I really appreciate all of you guys, and I love you so much. Thank you. Hey, Mom, Bob, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I know it's been hard, but I love you. Hey, I just want to thank my family, my friends, and my twin brother for getting me through these four years of high school. Hey, I just want to thank my parents, my brother, and my friends for being there for me throughout my high school years. Ich bin dankbar für meine Familie, meine Freunde, ich liebe euch. I'd like to thank my mom and my dad for being with me for every single step of the way, and I would also like to thank every single one of my friends who have also helped me 
just as much in my process throughout school. I'm incredibly grateful for the people and experiences I've had in my life. Thank you to my parents who have kept me inspired and feeling loved and supported. My dear friends, you know who you are. I'm so lucky to know you and have you in my life. Thank you Bahrain School for the past six years. I'll always remember this warm bit of time and I'm looking forward to new adventures. Thank you mom, thank you dad for everything you guys have done for me. Thank you Abraham for always being there for me. I wanna thank my friends and the rest of my family for always being there for me too. It's been fun. I love you guys so much. Damn mucho. Well, am I done? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Oh, I guess it's fun. I'm really gonna miss it.
Welcome to the Bahrain School Commencement Ceremony for the Class of 2023. Please stand for the presentation of the National Anthem of Bahrain, followed by the National Anthem of the United States of America. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket Bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Crusaders, oh, that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free. Thank you. Please be seated. Good evening. I am Ileana Rivera, this year's senior class president. It is with great pleasure that I welcome His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Mr. Amin Al Vayed, Ms. Stephanie Al Sayed, fellow students, friends, family, esteemed guests, faculty, and of course the class of 2023. We can finally say, we did it. It feels surreal that our graduation day has finally come when it felt like such a distant future for our younger selves. Now that it's here, we are filled with excitement for what lies ahead, but also sadness we never thought we would feel for the end of our school career. I want to take a moment to look back on this great 13-year endeavor we have finally accomplished. When we were in elementary school, we were dreaming of our high school years and wondered what they would be like if we would have those magical high school moments Disney and other movies showed us. Our four years of high school, however, went by in a blur by, with the COVID pandemic ruining any normality we knew from the start. As freshmen, we were thrown into a pandemic. We had to overcome new challenges from still learning the ropes of high school, being unable to see our friends and teachers in person, and getting used to being around our siblings 24-7. But in spite of that, even through the detours in our high school years, we adapted and overcame those challenges. 
and no small part due to our teachers being flexible and learning with us. It's easy to think that all the chaos set off us track, but through these challenges, we became more independent, found new interests, and had time to discover our strengths and perhaps weaknesses, like our very short attention span during virtual school. Perhaps these weren't detours, but the road we were meant to take on our journey to adulthood. Senior year, our fourth and last year of high school, has been full of goodbyes and experiencing the last moments of our high school career. We had brunches, played paddle, had a beach day that we most definitely did not skip school for, and had the misfortune, or fortune, however you look at it, of hearing fellow classmates sing at karaoke night. Now, we have to say goodbye to our teachers, the gym, the halls of our school, and for some, you have to say goodbye to siblings and friends that will remain here while you begin your next adventure. Though, the hardest goodbye of all will be deleting an orange app called Talibat. <laughs> Collectively, as a school, we also have to say goodbye to a program and the last four IB students graduating from this school. Though, it felt like a rare sighting to ever see them all present the same day, and they weren't always able to come to events due to the huge workload and perhaps a bit of procrastination that comes with joining the IB program. Nevertheless, I want to congratulate our last four IB students for the constant hard work that only the insane sign up to do. Our small Dodea school, like other Dodd schools, always see people come and go, new faces constantly introduced, with so many new people coming and going, our class has always been diverse. Our graduating class of 47 students represents 23 cultures, from Bahrain to Lebanon, Morocco, Kenya, Sudan, Canada, Mexico, Philippines, the United States, and many, many more. This unique school is different from any other Dodea school and has given the students a special opportunity to learn alongside classmates from around the globe. As our senior year comes to an end and we begin our separate journeys, we can look back on the fond memories and unique friendships we made. We can carry this experience with us to give us strength and remind us that even if our plans detour, it's about the people we meet, the experiences we have, and taking joy in the adventures that lay ahead. Michael Josephson once said, take pride in how far you've come, have faith in how far you can go, but don't forget to enjoy the journey. As we end our K-12 careers and begin new adventures, let us not forget to take the time to look out the window, enjoy the scenery, and maybe even take the scenic route to enjoy everything life has to offer us in our youth. And now, as we are so very close to finally graduating, take the moment to enjoy what's around you, your peers, family, friends, and the atmosphere as the feeling finally sets in that we are truly and finally done. Congratulations, class of 2023. We did it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ana Lin Abdullah, Khadrija Dufat al Fain wa Thirathu wa Shirin. In the Holy Mindawari Sururi and Urahib Bismu Sheikh Muhammad bin Salman al Khalifa. Was Sayyid Amin al Arayid. Was Sayyida Stephanie al Sayyid. Wa Bizumala it to love. Will ask the car. Will Aila. Wa Arda hey at it address. What do you feel Kiram? Akhiran Yumkinuna and Nakul. أننا قد أنجزنا إنه شعور سريالي أن يوم تخرجنا قد أتى أخيرا كنا نشعر ونحن صغارا بأن المستقبل بعيدا جدا وها نحن هنا الآن مزيج من شعور بالسعادة لتخرجنا والحز حز لم نعتقد أبدا أننا سنشعر به بنهاية مسيرتنا المدرسية مع زملاء الطفولة والصبا ومعلمينا هنا أود أن أتوقف لحظة لألقي نظرة على هذا المسعى العظيم الذي دام ثلاثة عشر عاما والذي أنجزناه أخيرا عندما كنا في المدرسة الابتدائية كنا نحلم بسنوات دراستنا الثانوية وتساءلنا إذا كانت ستكون لدينا لحظات المدرسة الثانوية الساحرة التي شاهدناها في أفلام ديزني وأفلام أخرى ومع ذلك مرت سنوات دراستنا لأربع سنوات مر السحاب وخاصة مع جائحة كوفيد 
التي دمرت أي حالة طبيعية كنا نعرفها منذ البداية وبسبب هذه الجائحة واجهنا الكثير من التحديات التي استطعنا التغلب عليها تدريجيا وكما يقال رب ضارة نافعة ورغم هذه التحديات أصبحنا أكثر استقلالية واعتمادا على أنفسنا كانت السنة الأولى حتى السنة الرابعة والأخيرة من المدرسة الثانوية مليئة بلحظات مفرحة ولحظات الوداع لقد خططنا لمزيد من الأحداث والتجمعات الاجتماعية أكثر من أي فصل دراسي سابق بين تناول وجبات فطور وغداء أو اللعب على الشاطئ أو الغناء مع زملائنا في الاحتفالات وها نحن نقول وداعا لمعلمينا وللصالة الرياضية والقاعات الدراسية وداعا للأشقاء والأصدقاء الذين سيبقون هنا أثناء بدء مغامراتنا الدراسية بالجامعة وبرأيي أن أصعب وداع على الإطلاق هو حذف تطبيق برتقالي اللون يسمى طلبات وعلينا أيضا أن نقول وداعا لأحد البرامج برنامج البكالوريا الدولية ولآخر أربع طلاب من البكالوريا الدولية يتخرجون من هذه المدرسة من يأتي للانضمام بهذا البرنامج لا أحد بعدنا للأسف ورغم ذلك أود أن أهنئ آخر أربع طلاب من, من برنامج بكالوريا الدولية على عملهم الشاق المستمر الذي لا يقوم به سوى الأبطال مثل كل مدارس وزارة الدفاع مدرسة البحرين دائما ترى طلاب يروحون ويجيئون وجوه جديدة نراها باستمرار كان فصلنا دائما متنوعا يمثل فصل تخرجنا المكون من 47 طالبا و23 ثقافة مختلفة من البحرين إلى لبنان والمغرب وكينيا والسودان ومصر وكندا والمكسيك والفلبين والولايات المتحدة وغيرها الكثير تتميز هذه المدرسة الفريدة عن أي مدرسة أخرى تابعة لوزارة الدفاع الأمريكية فقد منحت الطلاب فرصة ذهبية للتعلم جنبا إلى جنب مع زملائهم من شتى بلدان العالم يمكننا أن ننظر إلى الوراء إلى الذكريات الجميلة والصداقات الفريدة التي صنعناها يمكننا أن نحمل هذه التجربة معنا لتمنحنا القوة حتى لو سار كل منا في طريق جديد قال مايكل جوزيف سنات مرة افتخر بالمدى الذي قطعته ثق في المدى الذي يمكنك الذهاب إليه لكن لا تنسى الاستمتاع بالرحلة عندما انتهينا من مرحلة رياض الأطفال وصولا للصف الثاني عشر سنبدأ مغامرات جديدة لكن دعونا لا ننسى قضاء الوقت في النظر من نافذة المستقبل والاستمتاع بالطبيعة الخلابة وبكل ما تقدمه لنا الحياة في شبابنا ومستقبلنا حانت لحظة التخريج أخيرا فاستمتع بما يدور حولك مع أقرانك وعائلتك وأصدقائك ومعلميك لقد انتهينا حقا وأخيرا تهانينا دفعة عام 2023 لقد فعلناها وتخرجنا Your Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Mr. Amin Al Rayyad, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, family, friends, staff, and seniors, welcome to the Bahrain Middle High School graduation ceremony of the class of 2023. To the audience, a reminder that this is a formal ceremony that requires the utmost decorum. We ask that when your graduates' names are called to cross the stage later in the program, that you please hold your cheers and yells until all the graduates have crossed the stage and received their covers, so that all families can hear their graduates' names and future plans. 
the Bahrain School class of 2023 has endured some unique challenges during their high school careers. When they were freshmen, the world was hit with a global pandemic. Tonight, their dreams will finally be realized in the conclusion of 13 years of schooling. On behalf of the faculty and staff at Bahrain Middle High School, we would collectively like to congratulate all seniors and their parents on this momentous occasion. For 53 years, Bahrain School has symbolized a unique collaborative relationship that has been fostered with the government of Bahrain and the U.S. military. We feel honored to have Mr. Amin Arayad, CEO of Nasij, as our keynote speaker tonight, and he is also a Bahrain School alumni. Some of you already know that this is the last year of the IB Diploma Program at Bahrain School. Our last IB cohort of four seniors, along with their American Diploma classmates, decided to commemorate the end of the IB era at Bahrain School by recognizing a valedictorian for each diploma program. I am proud to introduce the co-valedictorians for the graduating class of 2023. These outstanding scholars embody an impressive breadth of knowledge and have exhibited an extraordinary amount of hard work, dedication, and commitment to their academic studies. They have persevered and overcame obstacles that have driven them to be successful. This year, I am pleased to announce the valedictorian for the IB program, Faisal al <laughs> and the valedictorian for the American Diploma Program, Kaden Dinkler. <laughs> At this time, we will hear remarks from Faisal al Sawadi, who will be followed by Kaden Dinkler. Good evening, Your Highness, distinguished guests, family members, friends, and graduates. We are here to celebrate a major milestone in our academic careers, our high school graduation. I would like to say how very honored I am to be standing here tonight as the valedictorian of the class of 2023. I remember almost four years ago, I helped my sister move into her dorm in New York City, and a year ago, I watched the graduating class of 2022 walk across the stage, ready to open a new chapter in their lives. It's hard to believe that I'm already in that same position, and that I'll no longer be spending late nights studying at my desk at home, and that soon I'll be doing the same in my tiny dorm room in New York. High school is a wild journey for everyone, but I can safely say that over the past few years of Zoom calls and late night video games, we've dealt with one thing to a greater extent than others. Uncertainty. Not knowing when we were going to see our peers or teachers next, or how our futures would look like with a new obstacle in our way is no easy feat. And although adapting to these changes has been exhausting for all of us, we have grown as a result and learned valuable life lessons. These past few years have taught us to live in the moment because we never know what the next one will hold. And the same warrior mentality with which we have flourished and created new opportunities for ourselves despite our circumstances is the mentality we will need when we enter the real world. But through these uncertain times, I can confidently say that I couldn't have done it without the IB cohort with whom I stand on stage today. Although this is the last year during which an IB cohort will be graduating from Bahrain School, I am thankful that my peers and I were able to support each other through it. I am proud of them for succeeding despite the obstacles that were placed before us. From sleepless nights studying with my peers to last minute cramming the moments before an exam, I can always rely on us to find ourselves in the exact same position and to somehow work our way out of it. As the greatest thinkers of our generation have put it, also known as the cast of High School Musical, we're all in this together. But the moment we walk off stage as high school graduates, we will contemplate our newfound freedom, the freedom we've worked so hard to achieve. And yet, we may dread the moment we leave our families, our friends, our experiences. I know it's scary to leave behind the community with whom we've made all of these memories. If I were to look at the class of 2023 seated behind me, I would see the people who have stuck with me since elementary school. I'd also see the people who I've only really gotten to know this year, but who I now call some of my best friends. Regardless of how well I know them, these people have all made my time at Bahrain School 
a happier one that I'm not ready to let go of. They made it feel like home. Here, I find comfort in walking the same hallways, seeing the same faces, and sitting at the same lunch table with my friends since elementary school. But what will we do when we have too much freedom, when the opportunities truly are boundless? The more I think about these questions, the more I feel apprehensive about the future, about leaving the home we've created at Bahrain School. However, I've come to realize that none of this has to be a bad thing. It means that in our new homes, we can grow without limits. And this is something that I've watched us all do throughout our years together, and something that I've watched myself do as well. Finally, I would like to extend my gratitude to the people who have shaped the last four years of my life. First and foremost, to my family. Thank you for supporting me through every phase of my life and always making me feel at home after a long day at school. To my friends, thank you for always being there for me and making me laugh when I need a break from studying. I'll never forget the table tennis games we played during seminar or the times we'd run back to school from Nando's at the end of lunch to avoid returning late and losing our gold cards. Finally, I would like to thank the teachers who have gone above and beyond to make me into the best version of myself and always pushing me to my limits and beyond. And lastly, to the class of 2023, congratulations, we did it. Good evening, Your Highness, esteemed guests, parents, teachers, families, and classmates. I want to start out by saying what an honor and privilege it is for me to be in front of you tonight. I'm truly grateful. But tonight isn't about me. It's about us and our journey of getting to where we are today. But we didn't do it alone. First and foremost, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to our parents and families whose love, guidance, and unwavering support have brought us to this momentous occasion. Without you, we wouldn't be where we are today, ready to embark on the next chapter of our lives. Thank you for believing in us, for being our rock, and for shaping us into the individuals we have become. I also want to extend a sincere appreciation to our remarkable teachers. Each of you has played a significant role in our academic journey, and your dedication to our education is truly appreciated. Just a few examples, Mr. Herrera, Thank you for teaching us how to sell anything, anywhere, and that vaping is bad. <laughs> Miss Corey, thank you for teaching us that BTS and Pokemon Go aren't just for kids. And Mrs. Herrera, our senior sponsor, thank you for not only guiding us in our last year of high school, but also teaching us that a poorly made cardboard boat probably won't float when two of us try to get in it. And I'm the one studying engineering. But to all the teachers, Thank you so much for supporting us and inspiring us each day to keep pushing and to still come to class. Tonight is about us and our journey here. Our school isn't like others where the graduating class has known each other since kindergarten. We have people from all over the world who came to Bahrain in different times and in different circumstances. Our stories are so different. And that's what I really love about Bahrain School. Despite our differences, we come together as one strong, successful, connected class that never fails to achieve. And even though we come from different backgrounds and cultures, we still share common memories from our past. Who remembers filling our arms with silly bands or wearing bright, stylish neon clothes and watching all the episodes of Phineas and Ferb? Who played hot cross buns on the recorder while your class winced at the kid who never really practiced? We're all so different, yet we share these core memories. And what more of a core memory than our beloved COVID-19? I still feel awkward thinking about the silent gray squares on the screen and the continued silence even when the teacher asked the question and still nobody answered. These memories have led us to where we are today where we have made collective memories of our own this year. Homecoming, prom, our senior breakfast at the Orangery, karaoke, a beach day, and more. We bonded and grew close, creating a tight-knit class that cheered each other on at sports games, in classes, and supported one another with endeavors outside of school as well. 
Along our journey, we have also learned about each other and about ourselves. Just a couple of weeks ago, for example, we discovered that David and Justice have pretty impressive wrestling skills, and I guess Juan too. We also learned that Jerry is pretty good at hyping up a crowd during Sweet Caroline. These are all testaments to our class's diverse talents and hidden gems, reminding us that we are constantly evolving and have much to learn from one another. Class of 2023, as we come here today, united by our unique experiences and shared memories, I want to give you three important values to take with you into the next chapter of your life. One, stay true to yourself. Embrace what makes you unique and let it shine in everything you do. Something I love about Bahrain School is its tolerant nature. Regardless of who you are or where you come from, you're welcomed with open arms and smiles. As you move on from this special school, continue to be that unique piece of the puzzle that creates a bigger picture in the world. Don't let the people around you tell you who to be and try to let go of pleasing people as much as possible. Remember, success is not solely defined by societal expectations, but by your own personal fulfillment and happiness. Two, seek out mentors. A mentor can be someone who inspires and guides us, helping us navigate the challenges and opportunities ahead. They can offer valuable advice, share their experiences, and provide the support we need to overcome obstacles. By finding mentors, we open ourselves up to a wealth of knowledge and wisdom that can accelerate our personal and professional development. Moreover, let us remember that mentorship is a two-way street. Just as we seek guidance, we should also strive to become mentors ourselves. We each have unique talents and experiences that can positively impact others. By sharing our perspectives and offering support and help to those around us, we can foster a, a culture of growth, collaboration, and mutual success. Three, don't be afraid to chase your dreams, even if they are challenging and seem unconventional. Highlighting just a few of our peers, Lou Jane, keep performing and supporting the community. Leon, keep playing soccer. Gavin, keep editing awesome videos. Jake and Jared, keep pushing for 315. And Tyler, keep saving the city. You know what I mean. Chasing dreams is like catching fireflies. It's a lot of running around in the dark, but when you finally catch one, it's totally worth it. Find what you love and pursue it with everything you've got. Persistence is key regardless of what it is. So, class of 2023, as we embark on our individual paths, let us be true to ourselves, seek out mentors, and chase after what brings us joy. In the words of Ellen DeGeneres, follow your passion, stay true to yourself, and never follow someone else's path. Unless you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path, then by all means, you should probably follow that path. Congratulations, class of 2023, on all that we have achieved. I am incredibly proud to stand among such remarkable individuals and friends. And I can't wait to witness the incredible journeys that lie ahead for each and every one of us. Thank you. Today, we have the honor of welcoming a remarkable individual who embodies the essence of excellence, vision, and commitment, Mr. Amin al arayed His achievements and expertise have positively impacted numerous sectors in the Kingdom of Bahrain, leaving an indelible mark on the landscape of finance, real estate, and development. He is currently the Chief Executive Officer at Nasij, one of the country's foremost real estate development companies. He has previously held executive leadership positions, including as the CEO of Adama, the real estate arm of the Kingdom of Bahrain's Sovereign Wealth Fund. As part of his banking and finance experience, Amin held executive level posts at Reef Estate Finance Company as head of retail and placement 
as well as the head of retail banking at the Bank of Bahrain and Kuwait. He is currently on the board of directors of the National Bank of Bahrain and is also the chairman of Amakin, Bahrain's car parks company. Most importantly, he is also an alumnus of Bahrain School. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in giving a warm round of applause to welcome our esteemed speaker, Mr. Amin Al Arayed. Your Royal Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Your Excellencies and esteemed dignitaries, respected faculty, proud parents and families, and class of, of 2030, I'm honored to stand before you today. Firstly, my sincere congratulations to each and every one of you. Today marks not only an ending, but also a grand beginning, the first of many chapters in the vibrant story of your lives. At this moment, I imagine you're feeling a mixture of excitement, happiness, and maybe even some nervousness. Believe me, I understand. I'm also a graduate of this great school, and I was once in your shoes. I was sitting where you are and having the same emotions you are experiencing now. So I'd like to speak to you as one of you, and I'd like to share with you three pieces of advice that have helped me get to where I am today. I am privileged to have had a role in shaping Bahrain's real estate sector over the past 20 years. It allowed me to witness firsthand how those contributions have strengthened our kingdom, the economy, and helped build communities. And I have also, and still do, take great pride in my work. The first principle that has served me on my journey is a concept called the circle of competence. Originally popularized by Warren Buffett in the context of investing, the circle of competence refers to the domain in which you hold a superior understanding and expertise. Imagine a circle. Everything inside it comprises your knowledge base, your skills, and your competencies. Everything outside it remains to be learned, to be explored. Right now, you may feel that that circle is not, large, is not as large as you'd like it to be, but that's okay. We all start somewhere as we live, as we learn, our circle expands. Every experience, every book read, every challenge tackled pushes its boundaries a little more. The aim is, is not to know everything. That I am sure is unattainable. The aim is to continually grow and expand your circle of competence. I spent the first 10 years of my career as a banker before deciding I wanted to expand my circle and explore opportunities in real estate. At the time, my circle of competence did not include many of the core tenets of real estate investment and development, so I worked on expanding it until I felt ready to take on new challenges. And then I went on to start a number of very successful real estate businesses. You can apply this formula to just about any challenge in life, and I assure you, you will see results. It will help you build courage and confidence. Remember. The size of your circle is not a measure of your worth. However, your willingness to expand the circle will be a measure of your growth and ultimate success. My second piece of advice is to stay curious. Curiosity is what will help you expand your horizons and seek out new opportunities. If I had stuck only to what I knew, I would not have realized many of the amazing opportunities in real estate. But I was curious about new things and I was willing to learn. So seek knowledge in every corner. Step out of your comfort zone and into the unknown. High school has given you a strong foundation, but education is not confined to classrooms or textbooks. It permeates every aspect of our lives. Take every opportunity as a learning experience. If you're interested in a topic, read about it in books or listen to it on podcasts. If you, ingest, if you invest just 100 hours of your time doing just that, you will know more about your chosen topic than 90% of the people in the world. Finally, my last piece of advice, be kind. People may not remember what you said or did, but they will always remember how you made them feel. 
As life propels you into greater roles, you will find yourself wielding influence over others. Let me assure you the power of your position will be magnified tenfold when it is coupled with compassion and fairness. The respect you earn will far outweigh any accolades. My decision to trans transition from my entrepreneurial pursuits to take on CEO and board positions has not been an easy one, but I was driven by the desire to serve my country and inspire and uplift people on a broader scale. In your own journey, I urge you to do the same. No matter what path you choose, always lead with kindness. Make that your legacy, and you will find that it will endure the test of time. Graduates, this is your moment. May you remain lifelong learners, forever curious and forever courageous. May your journeys be extraordinary. I wish you a future filled with bold dreams and boundless discoveries. Thank you and congratulations once again, class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Amin. Your Highness, distinguished guests, faculty, parents, students, relatives, friends, and members of the class of 2023. I'd like to share some statistical information about our graduating class. There are 47 members in the class representing 23 different nations. Bahrain, Canada, Colombia, Egypt, Germany, Guyana, India, Italy, Jordan, Kenya, Lebanon, Mexico, Morocco, Nigeria, Pakistan, Philippines, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria, United States, United Kingdom, Venezuela, and Zimbabwe. This speaks to the diversity that is in front of us tonight. This is what makes Bahrain School unique. When you ask our educators what they like best about teaching at Bahrain School, they'll tell you, it's the diversity in my classroom. Multiculturalism, a richness of travel, and the ability to speak not just one or even two, but often three languages will allow this group to change the world. Three of our seniors have attended Bahrain School since kindergarten. 10% of the class of 2023 arrived for this, their senior year. And can you imagine two of these students arrived at semester? One of these students attended four different high schools to be on this stage tonight. She knows who she is, and she's a rock star in my book. Six of our students have lived in the BISA dormitory, and they are like family to each other. In total, 68% of our graduating class have attended two, three, or four different high schools, and most of these moves were in support of their parents' careers. Thank you, scholars. As for some of the graduates' future plans, 83% plan to attend a four-year university, 9% will enter the workforce, 6% will enter the United States military, 2% will take a gap year. The class of 2023 earned over $1.3 million in scholarships, Bahrain School will close the chapter on a long partnership with International Baccalaureate this year. Four students will earn their IB diploma. This class is our strongest ever advanced placement class in Bahrain School's history, taking 118 college-level classes and examinations. 
15 members of the class of 2023 earned the honors diploma. Nine members of the class of 2023 are graduating with a summa cum laude cumulative grade point average. 11 members of the class of 2023 are graduating with a magna cum laude cumulative grade point average. We are excited to see what the future brings for all 47 scholars. We now welcome back our senior class president to honor their senior sponsor, Ms. Herrera, before Ms. Herrera begins our final roll call for the class of 2023. At this time, I would like to invite His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa to join us on stage to present the graduates with their diplomas. It is my great honor and pleasure to present to you Bahrain's class of 2023. Attending Lakehead University, Lean Abdullah, honors graduate, magna cum laude. Entering the workforce in Canada, Faris Aga. <laughs> Attending John Cabot, University of Rome, Giulia Agostinelli. Attending Jordan University of Science and Technology, Zainadeen Al Husni, honors graduate, summa cum laude. <laughs> Attending George Washington University, Haya Al Khalifa, honors graduate, magna cum laude. <laughs> Attending Columbia University, Faisal Al Sawedi, summa cum laude. <laughs> Traveling first semester, followed by University of Florida, Madison Andrews, magna cum laude. <laughs> Joining the United States Navy, Tyler Applefield. Attending Liberty University, Ezra Baker, honors graduate, magna cum laude. <laughs> Attending University in Canada, Bakhtiar Bukhari. Joining the United States Air Force, Jillian Brown. <laughs> Attending the Technical University of Munich, John Cadena, magna cum laude. <laughs> A 
attending Penn State World Campus, Nicole Cariaga. Attending Radford University, Reagan Carmack. <laughs> Attending the University of Washington, Zoe Cochran, summa cum laude. <laughs> Attending the American University of Bahrain, followed by Cal State University Northridge, Leah Daher. Attending Boston University, Caden Dinkler, honors graduate, summa cum laude. <laughs> Attending the University of Central Florida, Natalia Garzon, honors graduate, magna cum laude. Attending the University of Waterloo, Aisha Hamawa, honors graduate, magna cum laude. <laughs> Attending the University of Alberta, Matab Ibrahim, honors graduate, summa cum laude. <laughs> Attending the University of West Florida, Stephen Irwin. Attending the University of Maryland Global Campus, Kaylin Johnson. <laughs> Attending the University of Bristol, Nokutenda Kujengaira, honors graduate, summa cum laude. <laughs> Attending San Diego City College, Jeremiah Limon. Attending the University of Maryland Global Campus, Justice Miller. <laughs> Attending the State University of New York at Binghamton, Dimitri Mohammed, honors graduate, summa cum laude. <laughs> Attending the University of Reading, Larissa Nagaway. Attending Florida International University, Leon Odongo. <laughs> Attending Drexel University, Grayson Owens. <laughs> Attending the University of Calgary, Shriya Pamula. <clears throat> Honors graduate, magna cum laude. Attending Indiana University, John Parkinson, honors graduate, magna cum laude. <laughs> Attending Penn State University, El Jahara Rabor. <laughs> Serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ Latter day Saints, Gavin Reinhardt. <laughs> Attending Arizona State University, Ileana Rivera. Working at the United States Embassy in Bangladesh, David Ruiz, honors graduate, magna cum laude. <laughs> Attending Cardiff University, Veronica Shokri, summa cum laude. <laughs> A 
attending the University of Arizona, Issei Segrist. <laughs> attending Howard University, Jalen Thomas, honors graduate, summa cum laude. Attending Purdue University, Amira Trady. <laughs> Attending the University of Maryland Global Campus, Daniela Vargas. <laughs> Attending the University of Southern Mississippi, Jacob Wade. Also attending the University of Southern Mississippi, Jared Wade. <laughs> attending Tacoma Community College, Alexander Wiemet. <laughs> attending North Carolina A&T State University, Damon Williams. Attending the University for the Creative Arts in the UK, Lujane Yacoub, honors graduate, magna cum laude. <laughs> Attending the University of Maryland Global Campus, Juan Young. I'd like to take one last opportunity to thank Sheikh Highness, Your Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Mr. Amin Al Rayed, and Ms. Stephanie Al Sayed for being here with us to celebrate such a moment in the lives of the Bahrain School Class of 2023. Bahrain School Class of 2023. As principal, I certify that these seniors have met all the requirements set forth for graduation. By the authority vested in me, by the Department of Defense Education Activity, I hereby declare you graduates of Bahrain Middle High School. Please turn your tassels. Congratulations, graduates.